one. This video follows on the last video. Uh, and the last video was our foundation. So remember, everything in math is connected. And it's like building a house brick by brick and level by level. If we have a gap, uh, we have one brick or two bricks missing, uh, the house um, will fall down, okay? So bear in mind, we need to get foundation to go and that the next step and the next step and uh, so on. Um, so today we'll just move on to equations that's, uh, that uh, require more than one step to solve them, okay? But we'll start with one simple easy one. And uh, remember our rule from last class that whatever you do to one side of uh, the equation, okay, this is left side, you need to do the same to the right side, okay? Okay, so we have an equation x minus 2 equals 4, okay? And on the uh, one side we have x minus 2 equals 4, okay? And uh, this is balance. And in this case, to solve x, uh, remember from the last class, we need to have x uh, equals 2, okay? So we need to get rid of everything we have on this side. In this side we have minus 2, we don't need it, we need to get rid of it. Of it. So we need to do the inverse operation, okay? Um, so we need to add 2. Look at the balance. If we add 2 just in here, we will get x, because x minus 2 plus 2, this cancel out, so we have just x, and then we have 4 uh, on the other side. But it's not balanced, okay? It has to be balanced. So we need to go back to our rule, and what we do to one side, we need to do to the other side as well, to keep it in balance all the time. So then we also need to add 2 to 4, add 4 to the right side. So we are adding 2 to the left, we are adding 2 to the right, okay? And then we have x on the left equals 4 plus 2, 6 on the right. Done, okay? Okay, so, so from the last video you know how to uh, solve the equation um, 3x equals 8, but today uh, we have one more step, okay, in here. So we have 3x plus 2 equals 8. So first of all, we need to get rid of plus 2. We need to cancel out. So what to do to get just 3x on the left side? So it has to be 0 in here. So plus 2 and then minus 2 gives you 0. Remember, we need to do the inverse operation. If we have addition here, we need to subtract. If we have like here minus 2, so we have subtraction, so we need to add to cancel it out, okay? So always uh, remember we need to do the inverse operation, okay? So let's start in here. And we can also draw the arrows. It's really, really helpful. So we have minus 2 in here and minus 2 in here. Remember, whatever you do on one side, you need to do the same to the other side, okay? So minus 2 on the left and minus 2 on the right. And then we have plus 2 and minus 2. That gives you 0, so that's grand. We have just 3x on left side. It's all about it, okay? And then we will be able to solve it. So 3x on the left and then what's on the right. So on the right we have 8 minus 2. So 8 minus 2 is 6. Grand. So then we have uh, the, same equation, the same equation we did in the last video. So 3x equals 6. 3x means 3 multiplied by x. So then we need to divide it to cancel it out. Okay, so um, divide, divide by 3, by 3, and then 3 divided by 3 is just 1x, so we have x on the left equals 6 divided by 3, 2 on the right, done. And the next question, 
very similar, but we have this minus 2x minus 2 equals 4, okay? So the same step. The first step is get rid of minus 2. What to do? To get 0, just add 2. So plus 2 and plus 2. Okay, to keep it in balance all the time. And then minus 2 and plus 2 gives you 0, so we don't need to write it down. So we have just minus 2x equals, and then look in here, we have 4 plus 2, 4 plus 2 is 6. Right, and then the same, we're back to last video, minus 2x equals 6. And the same thing, the next step, we have minus 2 multiplied by x, so we need to divide both side by the number we have in here. So that, that's uh, the algebra rule number two. So divide by a number beside x. In this case, divide by minus two. Minus two, minus two. So minus two by minus two is just one x. So we have x equals, and then the same positive divide by negative is negative six by divided by two is three. Done, okay? Let's do a few more questions in here. Uh, we know our rules and um, we know that left side equals uh, right side. And we have another rule in here. Uh, letters on the left and numbers on the right, okay? So when we have 5x equals 3 plus 2x. We have letters here, uh, letter here x, then we have number and then we have letter. So we need to uh, follow the rule. Letters on the left, numbers on the right, okay? So in this case, we need to get rid of 2x, okay? We only want to have letters on left side and just numbers, only numbers on the right side. So first of all, get rid of 2x. This is positive 2x, so if we want to have 0 in here, we need to just simply uh, minus 2x, take away 2x, minus 2x. But remember, whatever we do on the one side, we need to do the same on the other side. So we need to take away 2x in the other side as well. So. Now, in here we have 2x minus 2x, it's 3x, equals, here, 2x minus 2x, and this is 0. So the only thing we have on the right side, it's 3. Okay? Only 3 left on the le uh, right side. And now we have 3x equals um, 3. So this is what we've done before in the first video. And uh, now we need to get rid of 3. And this is 3 multiplied by x. So the same, the, the inverse operation, what is division? So we need to divide by 3. The same on the left and on the right. So in here we have just x equals and then 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay? So the next question we have here is 1 equals 2x plus 5. And following the rule we have letters on the left and numbers on the right. We can just simply swap the sides, okay? So we can just write down 2x plus 5 equals 1. Okay, this is the same thing that's uh, still uh, balanced, okay? And now it's simple as that. So just get rid of 5. That's positive 5, so we need to take away 5. Okay, what we do on the left? We have to do the same thing on the right side. So then we don't have it anymore, so just 2x equals 1 minus 5 is minus 
4. And now we have 2x equals minus 4, 2 multiplied by x and the same, we need to do the inverse, uh, inverse operation, what is division. So we need to divide it by 2, divide it by 2, x equals and the same, um, negative divided by positive, the answer is negative, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, right, and the last question in here, we have 5x equals 3x. What to do in here? Okay, so the same following the rule, letters on the left, numbers on the right. So we need to get rid of 3x. Uh, we want to have only letters on the left side, so we need to swap the side for 3x. We need to put it on the left. So how to do it? We need to simple just take it away from right side. Okay, and now we have 3x minus 3x, 2x equals, there's nothing in here, 3x minus 3x, 0. Now, 2 multiplied by x is 0. So, we need to divide by 2, divide by 2. And the same, x equals 0 divided by 2, 0. Done. Okay, so take... Um, all three examples down. And your copies, please. So, uh, let's add another step in here. Look at our questions in, um, on the page. So, we have 6x x plus 2 on the left and on the right we have 3x plus 5. So, we have numbers and letters on the left and on the right. And following the rule, letters on the left, numbers on the right, we need to just simply rearrange it, okay? So, first of all, get rid of 2. We don't want to have... A number on the left side. So minus 2, minus 2. Then we don't have it anymore on the left, so we have just 6x on the left equals 3x stays as it is, okay? We don't do anything with that, we can just um, simplify it. So 5 minus 2 is 3, 3, positive 3, so plus 3, okay? Now, we don't want to have letters on the right, so this time we need to get rid of 3x. This is positive 3x, so we need to take it away to have 0. On the right side, so minus 3x and minus 3x. And then... We have 6x minus 3x, so it is, that's 3x equals, and then we don't have uh, letters on the right now, so that's what we want to, and then just 3, stays as it is, okay? So remember, we can only simplify like terms, and then 3x equals 3, 3 multiplied by x equals 3, so then we need to divide by 3. Divide by a number um, beside x. So we don't have it anymore. That's all we need. x equals, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay? So write down the question into your copy and try to solve it by yourself. And then you can look at the video and, and follow the steps. In the video, and then the last question here we have minus 3x minus 9 minus 7x 
plus 11. The same thing we need to um, tidy up a little bit. So letters on the left, numbers on the right side. First of all, we need to get rid of minus 9. We don't want any numbers on the left. If that's minus 9, we need to just add 9. And the same here. Keep it in balanced all the time. So here, we don't have it anymore. So we have just minus 3 x on the left equals look at the right side so these are like terms so we can simplify it but minus 7 x stays as it is okay so we cannot do anything with minus 7 x and then we have uh, 9 and 11 20 altogether okay the next step we don't want any letters on right side so we need to get rid of minus 7x. And the same, this is negative minus 7x, so we need to add 7x and add 7x. So now minus 3x plus 7x is 4x. Here, we don't have it anymore, so that's all we need, and that's 20. Okay, and now What's the rule in here? That's multiplication, so we need to divide. Okay, x equals and 20 divided by 4 is 5. And summarizing our uh, video in here, we need to keep in mind these two rules we've met in the first video, and the next rule is letters on the left numbers on the right so get rid of numbers from left side and, and get rid of um, letters from the right side so make sure you have all the rules written in your copy all examples uh, done properly in your copy and make write down step by step i don't want to see any um, answers without working it has to be done step by step and for the learning check, try to solve for x. So find the value of x. And you have just three uh, short uh, examples in here. Try to solve them. Remember, step by step. And I also advise you to go to this website, Math is Fun. Um, just uh, copy and paste this link. And you can try to solve few equations, okay? And you need to keep it balanced all the time. Okay, you can only uh, add or take away x, or add or take away one, and try to solve few few examples in here. So see you tomorrow.